In this classroom, a group of HIV researchers and community activists are doing something many of us once believed was too good to be true, discussing the progress toward a cure for HIV disease. Cure research, as it is known, is underway with a renewed sense of promise and possibility, and these are the treatment advocates most involved in the research. So let's not waste time and ask them what we all want to know. When? I think that we're a lot closer to a cure than some people imagine. I, I, I participate on listservs and I, I go into the forums where people talk about HIV and talk about how it's affecting their lives. And oftentimes, almost actually inevitably, when someone mentions the cure word, a, a group of people will pile on and say, we're never going to find it. Um, the pharmaceutical industry is too invested in keeping these profits alive and they'll hide a cure. And I absolutely do not believe that because I am so intimately involved with the scientists who are doing this work, who care so passionately. It could be decades. It could be not in our lifetime at all. But I think we're definitely seeing, starting to see that there is actually a glimmer of hope, more than a glimmer of hope. I've never seen such a, um, you know, eagerness and data and science build up and moving toward. We're gonna get there. It's gonna be a long, slow road. Everybody needs to understand that. This isn't gonna happen overnight. There will be a cure in, in, in our lifetime. We've already found a cure. I mean, you know, we've, we've cured one person, Timothy, Timothy Ray Brown. And once that hit the airwaves, everybody thought that it was gonna happen to them. The guy went through hell, he nearly died twice. You know, he has lasting damage from the procedures he went through. It's just, you know, kids don't try this at home. It's not what you want. You run the risk of uh, causing maybe either too much excitement so that people think, oh, there is a cure, what's the problem? Um, you can just, you know, take a pill, do a treatment, it's over. Um, so you need to, like, walk a fine line what, you know, with the reporting and the education that has to go along with cure research, because it is so complex. I've been positive myself for over 25 years. When has my treatment been the same? There has always been a constant, constant state of flux, and for me, there's always been hope. There's a very long history in HIV of, of people having, and for, for very, you know, human reasons, they wanted hope. And I think, you know, 30 years ago, when the, when the disease first came out, you know, people like Jonas Salk said, well, this is a virus, we can cure this, we're going to have a vaccine in a few years. You know, how the guy cured uh, polio, surely he could cure HIV. Well, you know, he's long since dead and gone and we don't have a cure. And here we are still working on it. I think many of us remember the, David, uh, the Time magazine cover of David Ho saying, if people keep taking these meds, they'll be cured. Well, that hasn't happened, obviously. You know, people don't want to give false hope. And we've had too much of that over the years. Okay, so hope is allowed, but don't go nuts. Fair enough. Now, what would a cure look like? There is so much research on things that would put a stop to people with HIV having to take medications, but they might be able to get HIV again, or they might be able to transmit it, or they might eliminate HIV in your body altogether. Or there could be vaccines that might not only prevent HIV transmission, but could also benefit those of us with HIV. There's a lot to understand. Could you please just give us the basics? A cure can be as simple as simply controlling the virus without having to be on medication. That's one sort of end of the spectrum. Being able to help someone avoid taking HIV drugs the rest of their lives, or maybe even for more than just a few months when they first find out they're HIV positive. If we can just make a living with HIV easier on, on the people that are living with it today, and, and that might be what's called a functional cure. The other end of the spectrum is we've literally eradicated almost every trace of the virus from your body. And so that, that's going to look like two different things. Now, with just simply controlling the virus, there's still some there. That will probably significantly reduce the chance that you would ever pass on HIV to somebody else, just to the same degree that we do with antiretroviral drugs. We know that that dramatically reduces the risk. And maybe it does eventually mean that you don't have the virus in your body anymore and that you're not contagious, but we don't know that yet. The big question is, are we gonna find a cure that works for everybody that is affordable? That's a question I don't think I can answer. I don't know how fast that's gonna happen. Yes, there's a lot of work to be done, but if you doubt the resolve of advocates like these, you don't know the history of our resilient community. 
we can all, each one of us, take part in finding the cure. You see what can be done within when a community comes together. It was community involvement that, that got us where we are today. And it stopped the dying, the fact that we are actually having a productive, strategic, meaningful meeting about cure research means it's a new day. And yeah, there's going to be egos, and yeah, there's going to be differing points of views, but I, I think together, working together, you can reach a common goal. Those of us who have lived for a while with HIV saw the beginning of the epidemic. I think one of the realizations is that we want the epidemic to just finally be done with and over. We want the disease to be over in our own bodies. Not having to go to the doctor all the time, not having to take the meds, not having to do these extraordinary things just to live a normal life. I think that this time of the HIV epidemic is critical and is very important. And a lot of people, other activists have seen that and they have come back to work on a specific areas related to HIV research. More in cure, as you see today. It's the one thing that kind of gives me hope, that makes me kind of want to continue to do the work um, because all of a sudden it's kind of exciting again. This isn't just about HIV. We're learning how the immune system works and this is going to cure a lot of human uh, misery. So are you thinking about getting involved? What a great idea. To volunteer for a study, visit researchmatch.org. They bring together researchers, the studies they're working on, and volunteers from all over the country. Or try clinicaltrials.gov and type in HIV cure. If you're interested in treatment activism or want to follow the work of these advocates, check out the site for the AIDS Treatment Activist Coalition. You can help do this, you know. And the reward could be historic. The day that, that it's announced that a cure has been found that would be available to almost everybody, wow, what that will unleash, I can't even begin to imagine.